Hey everyone, Difference Maker here, and I'm going to be talking about the Bloodlust experiment. So, for three days, the devs are disabling Bloodlust for this experiment to get information. Why? The reason why is because at the time when Bloodlust was added, it was basically a band-aid fix for bad map design. It basically made it so that if you chase someone for 15 seconds without hitting, getting stunned by a pallet, or kicking a pallet, you would get blood lust, and that would increase your movement speed by 4%. Well, at the time, you know, it'd go up by a lot of numbers, but now it's 4%. So you go up 4, 8, 12% movement speed once you get the blood lust 3. So what they're doing is, for 3 days, they'll be disabling it to see if it has any effect on the main game. But the disclaimer is, Beast of Prey will not activate. So... I'm going to give my opinion on what I think about the Bloodlust. Alright, so my thoughts on the Bloodlust changes is I'm very happy the devs are doing this because, for one, maps are getting reworked in every update. So, with basically every god loop in Dead by Daylight and all the maps that are getting reworked are going to be getting changed. And, see, back in the day, you know, like I said, Bloodlust was just a band-aid because at the time... Maps were very bad, like the loops were very safe and it was unfair for the killer. But now times have changed and now all the loops are going to be nerfed and they've been, you know, reworking every map. And everyone's come to the point saying that since all the maps are getting reworked, they should disable Bloodlust because, you know, it's not needed anymore. And I can kind of agree with that. So what the devs are doing is they're doing the experiment for three days to see if if Bloodlust has an effect, and I'm very happy they're doing this, because right now, the gameplay you're seeing is my first ever game with Bloodlust disabled, and honestly, I didn't see anything. I noticed, didn't even notice anything at all. In my opinion, in my personal opinion, I think they should disable Bloodlust, but not now. They should disable it when they rework all the maps because there are still some maps with very unfair tiles. Examples are Larry's, Midwich, and Hawkins, and Haddonfield. They still need to rework all those maps before they touch Bloodlust. So, in my personal opinion, they should change all the maps first, rework all the maps first, then they can do something with Bloodlust. They can disable it then. So, that's my opinion on the experiment, and hope you enjoyed this quick video, and be sure to press the subscribe button, make sure to click on the silver bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.